In this session, we are going to discuss types of algorithm analysis. If you give an input to the algorithm, how much time it is taking for solving the given problem? How much space it is consuming for solving the given problem? These two are the important objectives of this session. Let us assume we have an algorithm to solve the given problem. To analyze this algorithm, among all possible inputs, we need to find subset of inputs for which the algorithm behavior is good. We need to find another subset of inputs for which the algorithm behavior is not good. And another subset of inputs for which the algorithm behavior is average. But the next question is, how do we define the algorithm behavior? To understand that, let us go back to the definition of the algorithm. Algorithm is the set of instructions for solving the given problem. And these instructions ultimately get fed to a system to get executed. And to execute these instructions, algorithm consumes system resources like CPU and memory. From this diagram, it is clear that an algorithm can be analyzed in terms of system resources like CPU and memory. So algorithm behavior can be discussed in terms of system resources like CPU and memory. For the given input, how much time the algorithm is taking? How much space the algorithm is consuming for solving the given problem? The set of inputs for which the algorithm consumes less memory and CPU we, call, we are calling it as best case. The set of inputs for which the algorithm consume more memory and CPU, we call it as worst case. And the set of inputs for which the algorithm consume the average system resources like CPU and memory, we call it as average case. Now let us analyze some algorithms to get clear understanding of the concept. Given a sorted linked list, how do we find the kth smallest element? Assume the linked list is in the ascending order. For a given linked list in ascending order, how do you find the kth smallest element? For this simple problem, since the elements are in the increasing order, to find the kth smallest element, the obvious solution is just iterate through k nodes. For this simple solution, how do we analyze the best case, worst case, and average case? From the definition of best case, we need to find the input for which the algorithm consumes less memory and CPU. Since the elements are in the increasing order, to reduce CPU time, we need to reduce the k value. So for k is equal to 1, we are reducing the number of iterations, which obviously nothing but the best case input. So for the best case, we are getting the running time as 1. The time complexity of the best case for this algorithm is 1. Running time of the algorithm in the best case is 1. Now let us go to the worst case. From the definition of worst case, we need to find the input for which the algorithm consumes more memory and CP. Since the elements are in the increasing order, if you increase the k value, the CPU time will get increased. We are increasing the number of iterations. So for k is equal to length of the linked list, we get the maximum number of iterations, which is nothing but the worst case of the algorithm. So for k is equal to length of the linked list, 
we get the worst case. But how do we define the worst case? Since we don't know the number of elements in the linked list, how do we define the length of the linked list? For that, let us assume that is the number of elements in the linked list. So the running time of the algorithm in the worst case is n. The running time of the algorithm in the best case is 1. For k is equal to 1, we are getting the best case. For k is equal to n, we are getting the worst case. Now let us go to the average case. From the definition of average case, we need to find the input for which the algorithm consumes average memory and CPU. For k is equal to 1, we are getting the best case. For k is equal to n, we are getting the worst case. But how do we define the average case? Can we say k is equal to, if k is equal to n by 2, do we get to average case? You cannot guarantee, right? k can be 2, k can be n by 2, n by 2 plus 1 or anything. Since you are not able to guess the k value for average case, we need to take all possible inputs and consider all running times. So for example, for k is equal to 1, what is the running time? As we have already seen, for k is equal to 1, the running time is 1. For k is equal to 2, running time is 2. For k is equal to 3, the running time is 3. Similarly, for k is equal to n, the running time is n. For each of the possible inputs, we have taken the running times. Since we have performed n such operations, to find the average case, to find the average running time, we need to divide with n value. Since this is a simple summation equation, n into n plus 1 by 2 and another n here, these two will get cancelled. You can say the average running time is order of 10 by 2. So the average running time of the algorithm is n by 2. But if you look at the running time of the algorithm, we need to discuss in terms of rate of growth, we can say order of n. Usually we ignore the constants. So for this problem and solution, we have got different best case, we have got different worst case and average case. Now let us consider another example. Here we get same best case complexity, worst case complexity and average case complexity. Given a sorted array, how do we find the kth smallest element? Assume the array elements are in the increasing order. Given an array A, in the increasing order, how do you find the kth smallest element? As you know, array elements can be accessed with direct access method. So to access any element k, you can simply use a of k. Whether k is equal to 1 or n, the access time is same in the case of arrays. In the previous problem, we have seen the linked list where the access time is different for k value. For this simple solution, how do you find the best case, worst case, and average case? Since the array elements are in the sorted order, whether k is equal to 1 or n, the access time is same. So for all the inputs, the access time is same. Since there is no change in the running time of the algorithms with input, you can say in all the cases, the access time is same which is nothing but 1, some constant. So algorithm analysis is nothing but finding the running times of the algorithm in best case, worst case and average case. It might be different or same depending upon the problem and solution.